five people that I am trying right now so hard to impress. The five-year-old Priscilla, the 50-year-old Priscilla, God, wait, actually not the person, but yes, God, my husband, <laughs> and the current Priscilla. Thank you so much for coming back, guys. If you're new here, hey, I'm Priscilla. Welcome to this blissful living. What to hear? We speak about life and living. Main topics are motherhood, parenting, self love, and making home lovely. Okay, <laughs> so guys, um, before we dive into today's topic, um, we have to first and foremost see where does this urge of us as human beings come from to want um, or to have the urge to care. Okay, of what the next person is thinking about us, of what people are thinking about our lives, uh, what we're doing or what we're not doing. Um, if you look at it keenly, this actually comes from our childhood. We all know a person or very many people or even us ourselves, okay? We all know that we need the validation and sometimes we kind of want it from others. We want it from outside, okay? Um, this comes from your childhood that um, your parents, maybe not necessarily your parents, but your guardians um, didn't or you didn't receive that kind of much attention that you needed. Um, the love sometimes was missing. And then we find ourselves growing up and needing... Hello. Okay, someone wants my attention. <laughs> and we, we find ourselves... Um, Oh, get my thoughts together, get the thoughts together. We find ourselves wanting and needing the love and the attention from the outside world, okay? Because we didn't get that much or the enough needed attention when we were children, okay? It all boils down to, I want someone to see me as good enough. I want others to... um perceive me as a good enough person okay everybody wants that okay we're human and if you're new to this channel we're all about honesty we are all about um being true to self because we want to grow as the self individually so that we can function much much better okay so to my point number one on how i am stopping or how i actually stopped hey guys i think i've overcome i think i've gotten to a stage where i can say yes there are certain things that i'm doing and i'm not thinking um what will they think will they like it won't they like it will will it be too much Oh, mm -hmm. you know that point, okay? I think I've reached a point where I'm just like, no, we're doing this, okay? It's 2021 and we're doing this. <laughs> so to my point number one on how I stopped caring of what others will think or what others think about me is I stopped being paranoid. Guys, everybody has a life they are attending to, okay? And believe it or not, <laughs> <laughs> we are all dealing with certain things in our own lives, okay? I would say people are actually worrying about their own lives, okay? And, and trying to fix their own lives. They are trying to put their own stuff and their own ish together. So stop being paranoid. Nobody is gossiping about you. Nobody is talking about you. Nobody. I know there are a few, just a little bit, a few people that are really interested actually in your life, okay? That are actually interested in what you're doing. But the, the majority are actually busy sitting down, trying to do the best out of their lives, okay? So stop being paranoid. Do your thing and do it with one heart, knowing you're doing it for you, for yourself, and nobody's actually interested. <laughs> That's how human beings are. And I know we should be self full, but unfortunately, the human being kind of has this character of being selfish, okay? So everybody's actually minding their business, and it's actually a good thing. <laughs> minding your business is a good thing, okay? So my number two, Stop wasting the energy to explain each and everything you're doing. <laughs> Just stop, 
okay that's a very bad habit that's a very very bad habit listen people have already made up their minds about you okay it is it is a little bit hard to like understand that regardless of how much i do or regardless of how much i talk from morning until evening the first impression you make on someone that actually pretty much sticks okay this is why um i'm always preaching be careful what you're tell what you're telling people be careful how you're talking to anybody or regardless of whether they can help you regardless of how they look be careful because you might say something right now when we meet okay and you might not know who i am you might not know um what i'm going to become you might say or slightly say something that will kind of um turn me on differently okay and in the end effect you will be like oh okay i didn't mean that but whatever you have said in those actually they say i think the first three seconds or the first five seconds a person has already made up um their mind when when we meet okay the first five seconds this is when i make up my mind this person is like this okay i tell my brain that this person is like this and that is hard the first impression is very hard to change okay so back to the point people have already made up their minds about you and the other thing is people will hear what they want you to hear okay <laughs> listen you can somersault if people have already made up their minds to say priscilla is this to put me in a certain box they will have that i can somersault i can sing opera over here on youtube i could start speaking different languages speaking in tongues okay if somebody has already made up their mind like priscilla is like this they will fix themselves on that and I can't change it as a person, as an outer person, okay? People will always hear what they want to hear about you. So stop trying to fix, stop trying to impress, stop um, trying to explain your each and everything. I did this because you know, you see, ah, uh -uh. no, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. This is 2021. Chill, lean back and let people think what they want to think because listen, you can't really change anything about it okay so guys to my last point love and embrace yourself as you are okay um if you are going to make a beautiful life that you love okay that is comfortable for you is comfortable to to you and your beloved ones you have to love bless you you have to love and accept it yourself as you are you have it has to come from the inside over here okay um i will tell you just a short story um a friend of mine asked me priscilla i didn't i didn't really expect you to come up on youtube and start doing this okay i this was kind of like the last things she thought that i would do okay and she she was asking me where did you get this confidence because she also wants to start i see you queen come on up here this girl knows how to do home okay she knows how to decorate she knows how to make home lovely literally make home lovely and i know this is the idea she's bringing up in here okay her home is just beautiful it's just this comfortable or oh, as it is um i think i, I will speak it right Hygge, okay it is just um like like calm okay it is you will see for yourself let me not talk too much okay and i believe she is putting herself together and preparing and definitely one day i will give her a shout out okay when she starts when she is ready to come over here anyway back to the point she's she asked me how did you start okay and because of course i wanted to motivate her to get over here because she's really good in what she's doing okay um she i told her i first and foremost my husband um started this youtube channel and she was he was just like 
So first and foremost, my husband started this YouTube channel and he was like, you have so much to tell. You have stories to tell. Get over here. Do something. Okay. Put your mind onto something else. Okay. Like, like share what you have with the world. Okay. It might help just one person, but I believe you can do this. And I'm just like, I don't want, okay. I want to keep my life a perfectly secret. Okay. I want to just keep over here. I want to keep on doing one or two Instagram pictures and saying, hello, here I am. Duh. Okay. Then he's like, okay, then let me start. He started and, um, all of a sudden, I was like, okay, you know what? Let's try this, okay? And the first video that I made, guys, I liked the video. <laughs> I think the, 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 the light was perfect. I started speaking, and all of a sudden, my heart was kind of... It felt well. It felt good. Everything felt like, okay, I've just shared something that was um, pretty much, I would say, deep and very personal. I have actually never i have actually not yet put that video my very first video on on youtube here because it was really deep it was me talking about my emotions and and the darkest um time of my life that i have ever lived um put on camera okay so maybe i would i will put it up sometime if i feel comfortable to or i feel if i feel ready to okay so i like the video i really liked the video I was like there was so much authenticity there was so much um um heart in it i just poured so much soul in it because it really came from the heart i liked it the light was perfect <laughs> the looks were perfect and the words were just healing to the bones to my own bones okay so i was like wow this is good and this video just kind of it was the the goal okay but did you hear me i said i liked it okay and this is what i told to my friend who asked how did you get the confidence how did you even start how did you did you just wake up one day and say priscilla we're going to do this no i woke up i made a video and i really liked it okay my point to the whole story is give yourself the approval okay love what you're doing first love what what you're telling us okay love what you're selling to us when you believe yourself we shall also believe you okay so guys there is definitely a part in us as human beings that always seeks the approval of others okay that always seeks or wants others to make us know that they think what we are doing is good what we are doing mm, not not necessarily what we are doing but we are good at what we're doing okay but um this approval coming from the self this approval coming from me i like this youtube channel i like that i am sitting over here testing and trying myself <laughs> to put myself together to make these videos for you i like that i love that each and every week i am getting better and better and better i love that fact i love that um i can take time off of uh, my daily um routine and just get into here and uh, just get um to beautify my lips and sit over here and tell you hello welcome back to this year of blissful living da, 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 you get okay. so additionally to that um you're going to stop caring about what other people say or think about you and your life um when you confine in god okay um the beautiful thing about confiding in god you will understand what he wants you to do and when he wants you to do it. And once you do it, because it's from God, if you're a believer, if it's from God, you're going to have a very, very mighty um, support, okay? You're going to have that God always has us, okay? God always has our backs. So if it's from God, you're going to have that confidence, okay? That a mighty, bigger power sent you to do this on earth. 
sent you to raise kids, sent you and trusted you, okay, with the project that you have to do. You're going to have that confidence that if God called me to this, I will not care what anybody else thinks, okay? I'm going to do this regardless of how hard it is, regardless of how much I have to sit and learn and improve on myself. If God sent me to this, I'm going to kill it anyway. I'm going to do my best and regardless of what other others think about your project what you're doing what you're not doing right regardless of what they think of what regardless of what they think about you um you will just continue so confining in god is also something actually a very very mighty point of why i stopped thinking of what you all think <laughs> But nevertheless, I would love to know um, what you think about this topic. How are you stopping or how did you stop if you've already overcome um, the, the, the need of, of, of caring of what others think about you? If you've overcome that, comment below. How did you overcome it? What did you use? <laughs> Believe me, nowadays... Each and everything has an ointment, okay? What did you use? Um, did you use self-love? Are you so confident in yourself and you're just like, mm -mm, nobody stops me with their words. I don't care. I, will, I can do that. What do you do in order to do things, to build a beautiful life? What would you tell a friend? What they can do on what they can do in order for them to just live a beautiful life without thinking of oh, people will judge me um um they will talk too much they will say things that i don't want to hear they will think i'm not good enough what would you tell a friend to start doing in order to stop caring of what others think okay thank you so so much what i would want to leave with you is whenever if you're still struggling with this i have to impress people okay i have to people please i have to be good enough so that it comes from them so that i have to be good enough for them to see it okay listen there are five people that i have decided okay to impress in the last i would say two years okay the five-year-old priscilla like i told you this urge to impress this urge to to want validation from outside it starts from our childhood the attention seeking five-year-old priscilla this is the one person i want to impress the number the second one i want to impress is the 50-year-old priscilla Okay, why the 50-year-old Priscilla? Because listen, the next 20 years I have been given a mighty, mighty beautiful responsibility to carry out. And after these 20 years, I want to look back and say, Priscilla, you've done a good job. I want to be impressed. I want to say you did your best. I want to um, tap on my shoulder and tell myself you did your best. You did your best. You read all the books. You prayed to God. You did your best. Okay, I won't go into details, but I want to impress the 50-year-old Priscilla. Um, the third person I am impressing right now, not a person actually, God. Like I told you, I confine in God so that I'm like, mm-mm you all can think what you want to think there is a quotation that i love so much if they're not god their opinions are not really needed okay so you all i love you <laughs> but if you're not god's cousin <laughs> he's my husband because he's my husband he's dear to me he's my friend he's my bad he's my king <laughs> of course i care what he thinks about me so the fifth and last person that i am so much trying to impress is the current priscilla let's be quick on this the current priscilla who is learning so many new things the current priscilla who is just striving to be better and better every day thank you so much guys for watching bye